Fabulous Hairstyles. Today I have Sharon with me and she is super fun. I have done a video on her before, but the last time she came, she had me chop her hair and this is seriously the cutest haircut. Um, it's a number two and then a three and then it goes up to messy, fun, mohawk stuff up here. Um, so last time she had me cut it like this, I was like, Sharon, we need a video of this. It's so cute. So um, I'm going to show you the video today of it. And she's, you've really enjoyed it, right? I love she's, that. She says it's super easy. She's loving the length on the top. So I'm just going to texture and kind of make that messy. But I want to show you what we do on the back and the sides. So I'm taking a number two. Just around the base of the haircut and around the ears. That's probably been nice too, right, Sharon? I love it. Just having it so short, you don't have to. With it being so hot, it's fabulous. Yes, it so five true. Minutes to dry. It's right, and then you're styled perfect. for the day. <laughs> good. I'm so glad. Good, good. And I just move the ear, come around the ear. Okay, so after I do the number two, around the ears, the front and the base, then I put on a number three. And we come up a little bit further. Yep, and she, I want you guys to know that back here, she has a ton of curl. Um, it's thick, we used to have to really, uh, you know, thin it and stuff because it was so, so thick. Um, and now, obviously with it this short, that's probably what you haven't missed either, is just dealing with that. Yeah. <laughs> probably feels so good to not have to try to get it to do something. So yeah, this is a great haircut for, you know, thick hair, even curly because you go short and you go up to here. Even if it's curly, you can mess with the curl up here. That would be fun. Okay, so now for the top, I'm gonna do this here in a minute. But the top, I'm just going to come up, just kind of cut into this a tiny bit because she's liking the length. So just trim. And then I'll just come back through and do a lot of texture. That's what gets it to be fun and messy and poke up and be different, different lengths. And now I'm taking um, my more chunky uh, texturizing shears and I'm coming about halfway into the hair and then I'm going up. Cause I want it to be more chunky, more PC. And what's cool with, with this haircut is sometimes you need to be extra careful with texturizing. Um, with a fun haircut like this, even if you get like closer to the scalp, it will be okay because it's just gonna help it stand up even more. Um, so you can tell when I do this, if it stands up, then it's good. If it kind of plops back down, then you're gonna want a little bit more, but that seems to be good. Now what I'm going to do is take the sides, and I really, really like to use a comb that is thin, okay? You want it thin. And I'm just gonna bring this comb in, and you're gonna kinda hold it out a little bit. If you hold it in, you're gonna take a chunk. So you come in, 
pull that out some. That way you can blend this area, this back part. Okay, and then of course I look to the side. You wanna make sure, you know, it's not poking out anywhere. And make sure it's pretty. Blended through there. And like I said, this is super good for her thick, curly hair. And she doesn't have to do it. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is come from the sides here and I'm gonna bring my finger in tight and then I'm just going to take that little bit of a corner off. So I don't want really a weight line too heavy here, but I don't want it totally blended. And I'll show you why in just a second. So if you can just kind of blend this in. Same thing, but obviously on this side, in fact, I'll come this way. It might be easier for you guys to, to, to grasp what I'm doing here. Same thing, so I'm coming from this and I'm going on an angle. So you can see I leave this longer up here, but I come on an angle just so that connects a little better without a weight line, but yet it's more of a weight line than totally blending it. Okay, and then texturizing shears through, uh, and these, these are the thinner, you can see there, it's the closer teeth through those areas. So the sides here. So it's kind of a weight line, but not fully. Can you see that? That just puts some feminine in here. I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna come up this way. And what was so fun, when Sharon showed me this cut, you guys, like her attitude and her personality, oh, Wow, it's amazing. I love it, it fits her really good. Okay, now I like to come this way. And then I like to do this in a point. Okay, let me come around the ear. Okay, and then down here on the back. Just rounding the edges. Okay, again, I just move the ear, comb the hair. Come around the ear. that to a point okay so fun. all right now I'm just gonna get this here off of her okay yep I think that is great okay now 
the extra fun part. Okay, root lifter here. This is what Sharon says too, like a well, one minute do, it doesn't get better than that, right? <laughs> Seriously. Just so fun and spunky. Okay, so the root lifter, the moose, and the volume, and lift spray. So for this cut, I'm, I'm coming from this back, and I drive forward. And then of course this back just kind of dries down because it's short, which is nice. And then I'll come this way. Same thing, dry this forward. Okay, and then on this top, I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. before I put some goop in it, is I, I have a texturizing spray and a dry shampoo, and this just gives it movement and texture, um, which is always nice to have too. Okay, now I know a lot of you have been asking, which I'm super sad because the clay is discontinued, which, yes, is super, super sad. Um, there, is another thing that I had bought, another pomade. Um, it's actually, I'm gonna show it to you guys just so you, I haven't used it yet, but I had talked to my lady where I buy my color from, and she ended up saying that she feels like this would be the closest to this clay. So I will show you that in just a minute. As soon as I'm done. Okay, do you want to, Sharon, do you do it to a side or do you just come up in the top? I just kind of have this come down like this. So there's okay. a little bit of stuff and then just kind of, yeah, just kind of like that. Just kind of messy. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so see this that we, that I said leave longer? Just kind of have this come down and forward and then just kind of mess this up. I just think it's so fun. So, so fun. Okay, let's see. That's the thing, it's hard, like in the, I gotta look at you, but then in the mirror. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna hurry and grab this so I can show you guys. Um, this is the styling paste from Sexy Hair. Like I said, I haven't ended up using it yet. I just bought it, so when I'm out of my clay, I can try it. But in the inside, it feels and and looks like the clay. Um, and I'm just hoping and praying that it'll kind of work like that. So anyway, that's my recommendation for now. Like I said, I haven't tried it out yet, but I did buy it to try. So, all right, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna turn her around so you guys can see her. Okay, so fun, thank you, Sharon. Um, it's fun to do something fun and different and just Sassy. I love it. So you guys have a great night and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.